everyone, Matt James here, welcome to another guitar tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to play the Del Shannon classic, Runaway, which was originally released in 1961, but still proves incredibly popular to this day. Anytime uh, I go out with my band and, and play this song, it's always one that goes down really, really well, and it's easy to see why it is. It is a really great song, a lot of fun to play. Uh, not particularly difficult either, so quite a good one for beginners. It does have the dreaded F chord in it, so if you are a, a beginner, you may, uh, you may struggle with that one. Um, but generally speaking, there's not that much chord-wise going on. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it's a good one to, to play. Um, so without further ado, I will cut to a close-up and I'll show you how to play it. So to start with, uh, we'll have a look at the chords that I used uh, throughout this song. So we've mainly got an A minor, then a G, an F, and an E. So those are your verses, and then for like the, the pre-chorus leading into the chorus bit, we've got an A to an F sharp minor, and then it goes to a D at the end, and then back to an E. And that's it, those are the chords that we're going to be using for this uh, particular song. So not a huge amount going on really. So now we will look at the introduction, uh, which begins with this riff. So you're playing that four times at the start of the song, and that's over an A minor chord. And so to play that, I'll do it slowly, you want to begin with just the A string, and then you're doing a downstroke, immediately followed by an upstroke. Like that's so an A string, and then play the rest of the strings with a down and a quick up. So, and then once you've done that, you go into the bottom E string, and then you want to play uh, the bottom E string again, but this time with your finger on the third fret, so you're playing a G note. So very slowly, that's... So you're just repeating that. Once you've hit the, the G note on the uh, third fret, the bottom E string, so that's it for the riff, it's just... And you're doing that four times. So again, slowly, that's... take a little bit of practice getting to hit that A note cleanly again after coming from the, the G. Uh, but as with anything, with practice, uh, you'll get there. But it's, a, it's a really nice little fun intro to do. And then once you've done that, you're just playing an A minor rhythm-wise. So we're into the, the verse, hanging on that for a little bit. And that's the rhythm pattern that I'm playing, so it's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So slowly, the rhythm that I do for the whole song, mainly, is... Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And again, at speed, that's... So for the verse, we start on an A minor, the As I walk up to G, to F, to E. And then you repeat that again. So that's your verse. We'll do that once more. I'll do it much slower this time, so you can follow along. So, starting on the A minor, we're going. I walk up to G. To F. Pre 
three chorus bit, we're going to an A major this time. So that I'm a walking in the rain bit, so that I'm a walking in the rain. Same rhythm. Then it goes to an F sharp minor. Back to A. Then back to F sharp minor again. And this is where the rhythm changes ever so slightly for the wah wah wonder bits. The wonder, wah wah wonder. We're going. So it's down, up, and then you stop. So. So down, up, and then down again and followed by a, a stop which I'm using the power of my hand near to the bridge just to stop that so that takes a little bit of doing so you know don't don't despair if you find that hard to get uh, to start with, but it just keeps sort of practicing trying to get those stops in because it, it is quite important to the song and it adds quite a lot in terms of the dynamics. So, again, just slowly that's and then you go to a D and that carries on the normal rhythm. We're we'll going to an A, to a D, back to A, and then an E. And so that's it for that bit. So again, I'll just start from the A to the F sharp minor, going through it all slowly up to the end of that, that pre chorus bit. So it's. So I'll start that again now from the beginning of the, the pre chorus bit. So the F sharp minor, T sharp minor, A again. And now the rhythm changes, I wonder. comes in just before the solo and so for the solo it's exactly the same as the verse chords and the same rhythm so it's just your A minor G F and E um, and it's as I say it follows exactly the same as the verse pattern there's no changes at all and then you're going back into the pre-chorus bit again for them the and that's exactly the same as well the only difference uh, is it doesn't go to an E after my little runaway goes back to a D, alternates between that A and D for the run away, run, 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 run. So I'll just do that last pre-chorus bit again, just so that you can hear exactly how, how it finishes. So the Apologize, D. Where is she? E. Back to an A. D. That's A. Run 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 run
like to finish it on a cha-cha-cha, uh, but you definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to. But for me, it just, just feels like the natural thing to do. And that's it. That's Runaway. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, as I say, not a huge amount going on. And I don't that don't mean that detrimentally at all. Um, I think that's one of its brilliance is that it is relatively straightforward. But uh, a great song nonetheless. A lot of fun to play. So I do hope that was useful. Um, as ever, if you haven't already and you've liked what you've seen, please do subscribe to the channel. So it really does help me out. And consider giving the, the video the thumbs up as well. Um, there is another video of me doing this separately as a cover. So if you want to know um, the structure entirely, uh, do check that out uh, in another uh, when you when you can in another video. Uh, if you do find that helpful. But until then, that was Runaway. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.